um, there's like the poetic mode, the, ex- the expository mode, the observational mode, the participatory mode, participatory mode, the reflexive mode, and the performative mode. So there are six kind of, and they give six kind of examples to kind of go and look at if we want to do that. Um, Produce a five-minute piece of film that describes the subject in as much detail as possible. Five minutes. I assume that's a. I assume that's a, a minimum of five minutes. Surely. Um, I'm not really a fan of group projects, but I think working with people like Cormac and Alice will be different because they're pretty cool people. So whatever we do should be should be fun. We'll be keeping in touch through messaging and Facebook and just meeting up as regularly as we can and staying on top of things so that it doesn't get left till the last minute or something. Oh. <laughs> no, boys! Um, but, like, I think that things are going to go good. Um, oh. We're all about the same age, we all... We all think we could have some good ideas going, so it's. I think it's going to be fine. Just we just need to just work a little bit more, do you know. Or we could like, do you know, like, will you torture animals? Um. Yeah. At the moment, we don't really have anything, any particular idea. Um. When do we have to like we have to present we have to present uh, ideas for Wednesday or something? Is it? Yeah, the tutors want us to have a few ideas ready just to tell them and hopefully we can start the documentary then. Be, well, like, Did we got emails about it, you oh. know. So, I yeah, check on emails, right? we need to have ideas ready to tell the tutors and sure, if those meetings go good with the tutors, then we can go ahead. Yeah, <coughs> literally, like, just come up with something please them. Yeah, anything, like, be grand. Do we have to do contextual research for this? Um, well, we need plenty of contextual research behind um, for our ideas for the documentary, and they could help just, you know, bring on some ideas for the documentary. So, there's plenty of books in the library, and I know there's a whole section on just film and documentary, so it'll be grand. Like, we'll find stuff in the library, and just uh, it'll, it'll really help us move on with the project. The library is the best place to go for, um, you know, a bit of research and just kind of get the head down in the books. There's no distractions and messing going on. It's all just, you know, just get the head down, get a bit of study done. Everything was was pretty good. I mean, like, we got a fair few books out. And, um, it'll definitely help inform the, um, you know, the the project we're, we're going to be doing, the, the documentary. Like, it'll, we'll definitely draw influence from some of the work in there. It always runs parallel to everything you're doing, so um, you have to kind of um, <clears throat> bring it all together, like concisely into your into your contextual research book. Yeah, so for example, I found, uh, uh, like, just loads of important articles on photography and uh, just just kind of photography in general. The printing facilities are really good as well. Like, you don't even have to take the books out. You can just print whatever pages you want and uh, 
sort of read them later in your own time, whatever. There's a, there's like a book there, um, Shut Up and Shoot, I think it's called. So, if we just shut up and shoot, I suppose. I think we've settled on the idea that we're going to take the, some cameras behind the scenes of an event or a place and sort of document the behind the scenes of the event. Uh, tomorrow we have a meeting with the tutors just to kind of pitch the ideas that we came up with and um, hopefully they'll be on board in what we're doing and just everything. So yeah, we're just going to talk to them. The tutors weren't too happy with the first idea that we presented to them. And, um, I don't know, like, I, like, there is still a time definitely to come up with something else, but it's just a bit of kicking the balls, like. Um, Alice is awful upset as well. Um, like, Alan didn't like anything we were doing. I'm pretty sure that Martin hates him. He does. Just get that camera out of my hand. We'll come up with something anyways. I mean, we had a few ideas to be in with, so we'll just kind of revert back to them. I suppose they did kind of tell us, like, to um, do something that we're genu genuinely sort of interested in. So I suppose, I don't know, if we just come up with some sort of thing that we're interested in uh, and just go investigate. No, uh, no, I couldn't go in today. I had like um, CCS to catch up on and stuff. So unfortunately, I didn't make the meeting with. The first no, but like we yeah, we offered like we went in and we were talking about our first idea and it just got shut down. Like I I had a feeling it would, but like. Hmm. They weren't really mad about our, our whole idea of the milk market, so we're going to have to rethink things. But uh, I, kn I know things are going to go well. Like, we're a good group, we've got, we've got good ideas. Things are going to be fine. Should just call up and mess up. Good luck. Peace. Nice. What are the other groups doing? I'm not really too sure. I haven't really asked around. Like, um, when I went into, I didn't tell you that actually. You know, I went into um, um, to St George's Key there. I went into the studio and the like, lens group there were just um, were just getting ready to shoot. I think already. Yeah. Um. But. It, I just wanted to have a look in. Just I, I, someone told me they were in there, but I just wanted to have a look. Just I don't know, curiosity, I suppose, but just like. Did you just close the door on her face? Yeah, yeah, loads of work done. Uh, just lots of communication going on, and just getting organised. Um, that sort of thing, you know. Uh. Hello? Uh, yeah, I got to now. What? No, uh, he fell asleep on the couch and just woke up. You know, he's getting ready to go over something. Hey, hello? I am. Um, do you want to talk to him? 
Um, no Asian worker, like. Yeah. Uh, it, it's all right, but I, I can't help but just be kind of annoyed over it. Like, sometimes the lads won't show up or they like they won't have anything done. But um, I, d I do think we can still pick this up, hopefully anyway, but sure, we'll see. We abandoned the original idea and we got together again tonight and just tried to come up with some improvements. Did I tell you that actually I met <laughs> Matthew kind of roar at Brendan earlier on there? And I leapt down and just started roaring at him. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in and uh, see what Corbin wants. He said to. Um, I, I sent him a message to I don't even know why I meant it so specifically like it was actually a bit weird like, but I just said anyways will you meet me in the octagonal room and I just kind of like I don't know I, kinda, I think I just I might have overdid it a bit I lectured him a bit about his kind of performance in the group um No, I don't think there's any issues with the group. Um, uh, no, I think we all get on pretty well. Um, I mean, like we do run into issues with the documentary, but. I suppose I'd give him a bit of a scare, but I, d I definitely, I regret it and I don't regret it. I mean, I did need to give him some sort of like, you know, come on, Brendan, do something, you know? Fagley. Yeah. You know, there is like small things that come up, but overall, it's fine. Like, why are we? Will we just like come up with ideas individually over the weekend and then just meet up Monday, Tuesday? Yeah, sounds good. If I think the best way, yeah. If we all go away, seriously, and think, think about something. like Fab Lab. Yeah. You know. Mm. You think so? What do you think about the Fab Lab? I mean, like, it's a new, um, it's kind of a new, um, like, that whole 3D printing thing is a whole new kind of industry, like, so it's kind of, it's very much relevant or something, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's all starting up now, it's becoming more prosperous by, by the day. Well, I don't feel like there's... 
we'll uh, we'll come up with more ideas over the weekend and then just pick the best one. Yeah, like we'll we'll like we'll do we'll do that. You know, we'll come up with the ideas individually and give you that satisfaction. But we will be going ahead with mine. I'd say, you know, I just really like it. The idea. Like we really need to get moving on actually shooting the documentary because the deadline is approaching so we have to kind of get an idea ready for it you know as soon as possible so that we can actually do the thing. I don't want to do dancing. That one of your ideas, I bet it is. Oh I knew it. Alright yeah. Um, well, look. So everything Do you want to eat? Yeah, I guess so. Our no, documentary is about you, so is it? Not necessarily you. <laughs> that would be good, actually. Jesus, yeah, maybe. A documentary about you? Yeah. It's funny, actually. Here we are, selecting your idea for the project, like, but it's about me. I actually had originally thought we'd be doing my idea, and now I've actually... That's grand, I think. Well, yeah, so we decided on that social documentary style anyways um, where we are going to investigate uh, the city the people of the city and just um, well we were going to um, I don't know actually but um, the lads are in there doing it anyways um, Right so we're just heading into town now uh, hopefully to work on the documentary and get something together now uh, interview a few people hopefully don't know how it's going to go but uh, hopefully pretty well uh, I mean, they have the camera and the mic, like, so I don't see what else, what else they really need, like. There's nobody around, really. There's no one to talk to. Um, it was, it was great. We went downtown and, uh, we we found a guy that was sitting on a park bench and uh, uh, we got some interesting footage from that anyway to say that but uh, at first we were just a little bit stuck but uh, no we got we got some great footage from town today so we're very happy. Hi. Uh, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Well, what? Um, it's it's just for. Uh, like an art project, it's kind of a social experiment kind of thing. No, okay. Um, it won't take long. Like it's not, it's not going online or anything. Are you recording me right now? Yeah, just so I can get like, you know, the sound. Give me that. Hey. Give me that. Come on. Hey, me quando, quando, quando. Then we moved down to Thomas Street, which we knew would be full of people, and we were lucky enough to bump into some uh, really interesting street performers. There was a, a singer, and uh, there was a guy that was robot dancing. We got we got a really good lengthy interview with him. Yeah, he seems all right, all right, let's, let's, let's get this guy. Excuse me. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Uh, what, what, just, uh, what are you doing, busking? Uh, yeah, who, that's plugged into your earphone. Oh, uh, it's a microphone. So I can hear you. Okay. That's pretty cool. Alright, I think I've got everything I need. Thanks. That was great, Brendan. That was good, yeah. I really think we got something there. If we get, if we get some more of that kind of stuff. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, had a great day. Uh, and can't wait to kind of 
get moving on pulling the whole thing together and seeing how it turns out. Um, what are we actually going to feel like? I decided then I would stay in the computer room and um, just get some more research done. I just think that, um, you know, there can never be enough research. So, like, I know I've been, I was looking around and like <clears throat> a lot of the other groups are actually, you know, just storming ahead with their, with their work. Um, they're all working well together. As uh, uh, we are too, but they've got a lot done now, and um, I just feel like there's no need for me, for us all to be in one place at one time. I know, like, it's obviously not the kind of reaction we were expecting for England, but I still think it's kind of cool. Like, yeah, it's they do like it's not we have much else, and like, it's too late. Sure. We have all of our uh, footage now. Uh, we're pretty happy now with it. I mean, you know, some things didn't go to plan, but that's that's just we have to accept that now. But like, um, we've got the the filler kind of stuff to flesh it all out as well. Like, um, yeah, we'll just put in what we got downtown and then just like fill up the rest of it with absolute like whatever. Yeah. And then we'll just I don't know, just bullshit some sort of a narrative out there or something. I don't know if they start asking us questions. We, we have everything, I mean, we definitely have something to show. Uh, we've got, a f a hopefully, a functioning documentary. Should we just, like, start the f***ing the, the file has no audio or video streams. What the f*** does that mean? I don't know. File import failure, C, D, A, blah, blah, blah. Which yeah. file now? The... Like what we shot downtown. No, what does it mean? Like? So it's Saturday now, and we've got to present this on Tuesday. So we're gonna meet up tomorrow here, and because um, we have to spend all Monday like uh, exporting the documentary in in, in George's Key, and um, we're gonna meet up here tomorrow and just kind of just arrange everything, and just hopefully it'll be ready to go. The one with the guy in the fit on the. Bench, like no, the whole thing, like all the, all the stuff that we shot downtown that day, me and you went out. Everything's oh gone. My. Everything's not, gone. No, not, the fi not, the not. file is it's there. Definitely somewhere there, like it's the somewhere. file is there. It just it won't come up in Premiere. Like when I open it, it just says. Well, go search for the file. No, the file is there. Like it, it's there. It just says that it doesn't have audio or video streams, which it clearly f***ing must have because it's a video. Surely to f***ing God, it has. So basically we have nothing now to show them on purpose. No, like all the files are there on the laptop. They're, all the footage is there. It's just they won't all open in Premiere because some of them have different frame rate settings. So we all know who to blame for that one. Alice. For f sake, Brent, I knew something like this would that happen. Like, why don't you back up anything like... No, 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 the file is there. Yeah, the file is there, but like. The Premiere is the problem, it just won't f. <clears throat> what the f is that? Maybe if we. The f it, can you not just re redo it or just do it all over again? Like, I mean, we, if this, we've, you have the f footage, so like. You can just put it back in and just edit it or whatever, but no? No, this is not happening. No, this is not happening. Like, surely one of ye must know how to fix this. See, I knew something like this would happen. You see, we don't have enough film now because, like, like you wouldn't even show up for most of it. And Hold on now, this has got nothing to do with the f***ing me being there now. We've been through this. Well, I can't that... believe you keep bringing that up, like. I was, we said, you know, you, you'd go into town and I would do research. Just don't bring it that. Don't start bringing that up now. Like we have to find this. Where what are you, you doing? doing? What the shit? What the f are you doing now? It's gone. Like 
That's right, yeah, you just walk out like always, just, we don't have anything like, now. You're we don't have to present this we like just been two minutes, like. Still a little bit fresh in my mind, so but uh, something's not very easy to talk about at the moment. But uh, well, behind the window is nothing like. Oh, I guess. Oh, I don't believe it. I do not believe this. I don't believe this. I feel like I missed them already, but in a way, I, I don't really because they're. C Yeah, the deadline is 9.45, I think, which is tomorrow. Sorry, you f***ing Oh, it's Where are you going, like? Oh, f*** off. Look what you did there, you f***ing... Walk away, you scared him off, like. I was so f***ing sad. Don't f***ing Here, look, this fight when it got out of control was one for you. Look what you did there, when it's gone. You oh. We have under 12 hours to make a five minute documentary and so far the only footage that will actually open is some filler shots of buildings and this f***ing... You don't mind us filming you, do you? 12 second interview with a guy who doesn't even speak English. You do mind or you want, you want to be here? Quando, 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 